everyone welcome back uh, today I am going to uh, put some resin on this 9 by 12 cradle board it was white and I had painted it with shamrock craft smart acrylic paint I just gave it a couple good coats some areas I got thicker than the others um, made a mess on this side and the, but that's okay. We're going to cover it with resin and I thought I'd do the similar colors as I did in a previous video um, because I was trying to make cells with resin with uh, Resi Blast. So I'm going to do the similar colors, similar technique, but I'm going to do it on this green background instead of the white. And I went ahead and mixed my resin and as you can see I made a mess already. And that's okay. I'm gonna use six colors. Um, the first color is Marigold Color Art Primary Elements. Look how pretty that is. Just a little bit on my spoon and put it in there. I had a lot of fun with that last project. I think it turned out amazing and you can see I'll link the video to that so you can see it here is pixie dust by color art and I'm using the same spoon I'm not worried about colors mixing because there's not enough in it to mix can see this color is one of my favorites. I'm getting low on it. <laughs> and this one is Shy Rose. Next color, Pink Parasol. And these are all Color Art pigment powders. And you can use any brand name of uh, pigment powder. I just happen to love the Color Art brand right now. Colors are so vibrant. Black acrylic paint by Craft Smart. Just a little, hopefully, if I don't over pour it. There we go. You do not want to use a lot of acrylic paint into resin. If you use too much, they don't like each other. The last one I did, I used the Cast and Craft Opaque, and it turned out um, not as lacy as I wanted. So I'm gonna try um, this Armor Art. I've had it a while, it's very well used. So I wanna put a few drops or splashes into there. This one bottle has lasted me, I'm not even kidding, uh, two years, because you only use a little bit. Look at I'm only going to use that much. And I like to pour my colors before the resin. I find they're easier to mix. My resin is a unicone resin. It's a thicker resin. Um, it has some air bubbles in here, but the resin doesn't hold on to the air bubbles. So it's way awesome. I love it. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to use a little bit into each cup. Usually I like to pour a very small amount in there and mix it. But I had a good... turned out so well last time doing it this way. I'm just going to go with the flow. And I'm pouring less than half a cup of resin. into these Dixie cups. And let's get my stir sticks. Start stirring them up. Let me know in the comment box if you have worked with resin and what your favorite colors and brands are. I'm really interested to know because I'm I 
I'm into purples and pinks lately, but then I see some of these other art pieces. They're just amazing and dimensional, and a lot of people don't list their colors they use. And I would like to add more unique, vibrant colors to my little stash here. And I'm just mixing, mix, mix. Scrape the side, scrape the bottom. I love this marigold. Not a big orange fan, but this is almost like a rust. Rusty orange. Tropical orange, maybe. It's very pretty. It's very sparkly. And the pixie dust. I'm not worried about air bubbles. Clear resin. I worry about air bubbles. So I'm just working with clear. But since I'm adding all this color, the air bubbles dissipate pretty well. Look at that acrylic paint. Very opaque, it's awesome. And then here's the white. And it's the Armor Art. Armor Art White which looks very similar to this cast and craft, but for whatever reason, this creates awesome lacing that you see in those ocean pieces and the beach pieces. Okay, give these all another quick little mix. All these powders blended very well. I gave myself more clear to work with this time because I want to make sure these edges get covered with this one. Okay, I'm gonna give this a quick little wipe down. Made a mess, it's part of the fun. Let's pour our clear. And I originally mixed up about um, eight ounces of resin. And it should be more than enough for this, but because I'm doing the colors and the techniques, um, some will drip off, some will be lost, and that's okay. If I was just doing the clear resin, if you go to the Unicone website, there's a resin calculator. How much resin do I use? And you put in the dimension of your surface, including the sides, and it'll tell you an approximate amount of resin that you need to use. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off my hands. I'm gonna take the heat gun, get some rid of these air bubbles, warm it up a little bit. Start layering. 
think I started with this color last time. Ooh, look how pretty on that green background. And I wanted to paint it first so that my colors don't mix with the green. I just wanted a green background. Hmm. Definitely a different look, more vibrant. It's awesome. And the white, I am going to try it without the Resi Blast first. The first layer, I'm going to try it on its own, see what we can do. Now, I need to get me some freezer paper. Okay, got it, here we go. Keep my scissors handy. The freezer paper is paper on one side, shiny on the other. So we're gonna put shiny to the resin. Make sure it touches. And I'm gonna pull the white. And then take my scissors Gold is sure pretty, especially against a green. I can see a couple cells popping up, but we're going to warm it up after we're done swiping. Oops, helps if you actually put the paper in the resin. <laughs> I'm just gonna swipe this, there's no white and that's okay. gonna get these colors blended right here. Hmm. Now let me take the heat gun.
how awesome that is. On the outside, tons of cells were that white. So a little experiment. I'm gonna take some of this Resi Blast and I'm just gonna drop it and see what happens. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look how awesome that is. Okay, let's do it down here. leave it like this. Let it cure and see what happens. We will check back later. Bye!